today I will discuss about multiplication and division of integers. Rules in multiplying or dividing integers. They are just the same process on how to solve. It's either multiplying or dividing. If they are same signs, your final answer will be positive. Again, if the two numbers are the same sign, it's either positive or negative, your final answer will be positive. Different signs, your final answer will be negative. Examples, same sign. As you can see, both two problems are same positive signs. It means that your final answer is also positive. 2 times 2 is equal to positive 4. 2 divided by 2 is positive 1. As you can see, both two problems are same negative signs. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. It means that both positive and negative, if they are the same, your answer is positive. How about different signs? Mm -hmm. Two times negative two. Negative two divided by two. As you can see, both two problems have different signs. It means that your final answer is negative. Two times negative two is equal to negative 4. Negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1. We will discuss further multiplication of integers. This will be the symbols of multiplication of integers. Please Familiarize the symbols. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Negative 4 times negative 2 is still equal to 8. Based on the given examples, we can observe that if the integers have the same signs, both positive or both same negative signs, the product is positive. Negative 4 times 2 is equal to negative 8. 4 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. Based on the given examples, we can observe that if the integers have different signs, the product is negative. Let's go on to division of integers. Please familiarize the symbols for division of integers. Four divided by two is equal to two. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is equal to positive 2. Based on the given examples, we can observe that if the integers have the same signs, their quotient is positive. Or, simple as that, if the two integers have the same signs, your answer must be positive. 
negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Based on the given examples, we can observe that if the integers have different signs, your final answer must be negative. That's why our answer are negative 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. Mm -hmm. More examples. Negative 6 times negative 4. Since both numbers have the same negative signs, the product is positive. The answer is positive 24. 14 times 7. Since both numbers have the same positive signs, their product is positive. 14 times positive 7 is equal to positive 98. Example number 3. Negative 32 times positive 10. Since both numbers have different signs, their product is negative. Negative 32 times positive 10 is equal to negative 320. Example number 4. Negative 25 divided by negative 5. Since both numbers have the same negative signs, their quotient is positive. Negative 25 divided by negative 5 is equal to positive 5. Negative 90 divided by positive 10. Since both numbers have different signs, their quotient is negative. Negative 90 divided by positive 10. Your final answer is negative 9. Please answer the given formative assessment. Thank you for listening.